Hey everyone, Nike here. Oh, this is so cool. I have access to the AMD Pro series of GPUs. The Pro moniker in the name should indicate that they are meant for workstation tasks and they can game, but only it would cost four times more. But let's check them out, shall we? I am checking out the AMD Pro W7900 workstation graphics card. It comes equipped with 48 GB of ECC VRAM and uses the RDNA3 architecture. This one is the big daddy of them all at present. And these cards are made by AMD themselves. I love the premium white box. Open for exceptional performance. The inside slides out and wow, so cool. AMD Pro cards are designed for performance, stability and reliability. These cards are used to crunch tons of data and they have to be designed to run for days, years even continuously and the Pro cards do just that. Remove the cover on top and the card looks so beautiful. I love the chrome accents on the card and it has only one fan on the side. Heavy. We have Radeon Pro W7900 written on the back too. It is a triple slot card and connectivity wise we have 3 display port, 2.1 ports and one enhanced mini display port. This big vent here indicates that it's a blower type and the hot air would be blown out at the back through here. And there are two power connectors on the side which are both 8 pin. Here's the connector that goes onto the motherboard which is PCI Express 4.0 ready. And here's the back of the card. Specs wise the W7900 uses the RDNA 3 architecture, has performance of 61.32 teraflops, comes with 96 ray accelerators, 864 Gbps memory bandwidth using a 384 bit memory interface with a peak 295 watt TBP or total board power. It's designed for workstation applications like architecture, construction, film effects and animation, AI computation. The drivers are certified. There should be no stability issues which are required in a work environment as downtimes cost money. Load up larger 3D models, multitask with ease, handle decoding heavier raw media, run larger displays, compute complex simulations faster. That's what AMD Pro cards bring to the table. Stability and reliability are a priority for AMD Pro GPUs. So supported technologies are AMD Remote Workstation, AMD Software Pro Edition, AMD Radeon VR Ready Creator, AMD Ifinity technology for the professionals. Now AMD Remote Workstation, you can access your physical workstation from virtually anywhere with rich graphics acceleration via leading remote visualization tools. AMD Software Pro Edition comes with graphics driver that you can trust and offers intelligent features to help improve your productivity, all accessible through a modern and intuitive user interface. The supported APIs are DirectX 12.0 Ultimate, OpenCL 2.0, OpenGL 4.6 and Vulkan 1.3.2x. Rendering formats, you can encode two streams of H.265 HEVC, 4K H.264 or decode two streams of H.265 or HEVC, 4K H.264 or you can have one encode and decode stream of AV1. Now this is something to take note of. Due to the implementation of DisplayPort 2.1, we can run up to 12K display. That's just mind blowing. So the resolution combination supported are, we can have four 4K DCI or digital cinema initiative displays at 120 Hz or two 6K displays 12 bit HDR at 60 Hz or one 8K display at 12 bit HDR at 60 Hz or one 12K display with DSC. So I don't have many professional workstation class workloads to run on these cards, but let's see what we can. To take advantage of this card, we need a CPU that can push the data to it fast enough. So for the test bed, we have the AMD Threadripper 5975WX, 128GB of RAM, Samsung 980 Pro 2TB NVMe SSD, the ASUS WSWRX 80E Sage AC motherboard to tie them all down and the 1600 watt PCU to power the whole thing. Running DaVinci Resolve and Adobe Premiere benchmarks which are not dependent on the GPU per se, they do take advantage of the hardware encoder and decoders. The hardware decoders are available on chip for H.264 and HEVC also called H.265 for encoding and decoding. I ran SpecuPerf 2020 benchmark which is the worldwide standard for measuring graphics performance of professional applications running under OpenGL and DirectX application programming interfaces. And these are the benchmark results. Puget Bench allows for benchmarking software like DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere, Unreal Engine, Blender with repeatable and consistent tests. 
So that was the W7900 workstation class card by AMD. Would you be picking one up? If you are a professional, you make 3D graphics, you work on visual effects, you do a lot of editing with raw footage, then this card would help. If you are a gamer, it would still be better for you to go with the 7000 series cards instead. But for workstation class loads, for reliability, stability, you will need a workstation class card. So that was the video. A big thanks to Vishal Peripherals for giving me access to these cards. I would not even get a chance to see something like this. So would you pick one up? Make sure to comment below. So that was the video. Make sure to like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.